I've received several questions from Cricut users asking how to use the SVG files for my Papermate Inkjoy pen boxes and get those SVGs uploaded into Cricut um, Design Space. I do not use a Cricut. I haven't used a Cricut for nearly 10 years. The last one I owned still took cartridges, so I've never used Design Space. And I've been using a Silhouette for probably the last 10 years, and I'm really only familiar with the Silhouette Studio software. But I've had a lot of questions from people that use Cricut and asking how to get the SVG files into their Cricut design space so they can print and cut. Um, I, I don't really have a good answer for that. As I've said, I've never used Cricut before. I've never used the Cricut when it comes with using the software with the design space. But I did figure out how to get the SVGs to import correctly so that whenever they import, they will look like, they will look similar to this. Um, there was a, a small setting I had to change whenever I exported it to make sure that everything stays together in Design Space, that I didn't have a problem with it in Silhouette, but for some reason, um, when it was getting imported into the Cricut software, it was separating the score lines, the pink lines that I have here. It was separating those lines and it was making it hard to, everything had to be adjusted manually. So I have figured out how to redo this and resave this. And um, it was just one little setting that needed to be done. So that is finished. And I'm gonna go real quickly and show you how I imported this SVG. So I'm going to open the Cricut software and I'm going to go to upload. And I already have this one uploaded, but I'll go ahead and just delete it for now. And I'll redo this. So I'm going to upload my image and I can drag and drop or I could browse for it. It doesn't really matter. And this is the first one. Oops. And as you can see in, when I imported it, all of the pieces are together. So in this preview, I still have my pink lines and I have the black outline that will be the cut line. Um, when I put it in the, in the design space, it will change the colors, but it shouldn't be too difficult to, um, to get everything fixed so that you can adjust the cut settings. So I've selected that and I went to insert images. Now it turns it all black. I don't know if this is normal, but this is what it did. So I'm gonna go up here and change my color to white so I can see the lines. And along the side I have, I'll go ahead and, and click on these so you'll see them disappear. So you can see these, all of these are the lines that will be for scoring. So I'm going to hold down my shift key. Um, the, I'm using a Mac, so I don't know if this is different on a PC, but I can hold down my, my shift key as I go and select every single piece. So all of these pieces that are the basic cut, these are going to be your score pieces. And then I came over to operation and I'm gonna click score. So now when I click off of it, you can see that it left the dotted lines. So all of these lines will be your score that you don't wanna cut through. And then I have the last one, which would be the outline right here. You can see that, and that's left as a cut. And that's how I imported it. So I'll go ahead and I'll import the other one that has the cutout. Go ahead and upload and I'll do this the other way to search for it. Okay. And you can see everything's together. Upload, I'm gonna select and insert my image. And there it is again. 
and I'm going to change this to white and then same thing I'm going to select all of the lines that are inside with the exception of this cutout because that cutout will actually be cut and that these two are at the bottom so you can see right there and right there those are my cut lines so I'm gonna leave those alone and I'm just gonna select hold down my shift and select all of those lines that will be scored and select score so now I have everything selected everything is inside it uploaded as one piece um, a, a silly little thing to check that it wasn't necessary when uploading into silhouette but for some re some reason Cricut Cricut likes it this way and I'll show you as an example what I mean if I uploaded one of the other ones so the original one this is my original well, let me go to a different one this is my original and as you can see it separated everything I have no idea why but it did and so when I would go to upload it it separated I had to ungroup and then I had to select all of this stuff change it to score and then I had to try and line everything up which you can line it up pretty pretty well but it's much easier if it's together I've already updated all of the listings in the Etsy shop, but if you are using Cricut and you need the new files that keep all of the pieces together, then go to your purchase and history page and find my listing and send me a message from there. It will give me the order number and give me your email address and I will send it to you.